Hey guys, welcome back to another long view. <clears throat> Lunar Silver Story complete on the PlayStation 1. Alright, so. Where was I? I was... I was on my way to Meridia, I think was the name of the city, to uh, try to get um, that big fossilized piece of dragon shit appraised. Awesome. <laughs> so let's go. Ooh. Shit. Spooky. You know, Alex, um, they say the weird woods are, uh, haunted. <laughs> okay. Alex, we can't see where we're going, and we can't see any of the monsters. Why don't we go back? If you're scared, Ramus, just come out and say it. I'm not scared. Not at all. Totally scared, bro. Alright, uh... Alright, yes, I am playing on the PS1. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on... Analog mode. Yeah, much better. I'm sorry, Alex, I can't go further. Blarg! Blah, blarg! <laughs> Seeing Rams move like that involved a chow bell ringing. Because he's fat. Get it. Sun's going down and the fog is thicker than ever. Why don't we just go home? I'm sorry. Maybe this was a bad idea. Let's turn back for now. Okay. So we just totally just weenie, weenied out. My father's right about me, Alex. I'm all talking, no action. Don't say that, Ramses. With all that dense fog, we had to turn back. You were smart, not cowardly. I hope you're right. I'm going home to rest. Let's try again in the morning. I'll wait for you at the village entrance. K. Okay. okay. And Alex, maybe you should tell Luna where we're going after all. See so you are. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. All right. Excuse me. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go back home. Ah, let me pray to the. Alright, ah, let's go ahead and turn down my TV. Audio, it's getting a little interference. Alex, did you travel somewhere with Rams Ramos? Nope, the fog was too dense, so we came back home. Um no. The weird woods? You were going to Moribia without me? Can't be true, Alex. No, it's not joking, isn't he? Can't believe you leave here without so much as a goodbye. I don't think we have anything left to talk about, Alex. Oh, damn. She mad. He dead. I 
I always go down here? Oh, wait. Oh, no, they're all open. <laughs> uh, sorry, Luna. Cool looking game. For sure. I guess I gotta go to sleep or something. Oh, there's my bed. Can I can I can I go to sleep? Yeah, I would like to take a nap. Mother, I must go. So yeah, that was an interesting uh, turn of events. I was not expecting the game to basically be like, you're going on this forest, you're gonna go through the forest. And, nah, I'm just, you're, you're not. That was, a that was a twist, I was not expecting that. I don't know if that's a positive. It's kind of a positive, because it does kind of, that was very unexpected. <laughs> I'm not gonna put a positive, but that was interesting. Um. <laughs> Alex, I'm sorry I was upset with you. I forgive you this time. But I'm going to Maribu with you, and that's that. What? Really? Don't even try to talk me out of this, Alex. Okay, you can come in. You can come on with me. Because you're an awesome healer. Duh. Uda is going with you then. I'm glad, Alex. Don't worry about me or your mother. We'll be fine. Tomorrow you embark on the greatest adventure of your life. Adventure I always wanted, but was too afraid to pursue. Don't be afraid, Alex. Don't give up. And don't come home until your destiny is fulfilled. Alex, your father is right. That was the best speech I've ever heard. Now you go to bed, too. Adventurers need their rest. I'm an adventurer! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Was certainly interesting. That was a weird dream. <laughs> oh, that was her dream. Master Dine's grave. Good music in this scene. Alex, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I heard your song on the breeze. I wonder if 
die and couldn't sleep the night before he left Berg. How <laughs> silly I am, comparing Alex to the mighty Dragon Master. I must still be groggy. Going on a real adventure. I love the, um, it's like, uh, Xenogears did the same thing where like it would have, it would have, uh, art of the character to the right of the, um, not all the time, but to the right of the dialogue and they would have, they would have different art for like happy dialogue or sad dialogue or angry dialogue or confused dialogue. Um, I've always loved that. Go ahead and give another plus to graphics for that. What's wrong, Luna? Had a bad dream. It is. I'm going home, Alex. Don't stay out here too late. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Mush your teeth before you go to sleep, silly. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. I miss you, and I love you. Don't worry about Alex. I'll take good care of him. <laughs> yes, she will. Bye. Bye. I'm really going this time. I guess we should go pick up uh, Ramus. I can remember where he lived. No, nope, that's Is it right here. Huh. I want that chest. I want it to be like Dragon Quest so I can just like open up everything. Huh. Don't be jerks. Okay. Jeez. Oh, there he is. Hey, Electro, starting to worry about you. The fog clear soon. What? Yeah, what's right? Luna's coming along after all. <laughs> That's no fun. Of the world theme. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Because I don't, if I die, I don't feel like doing that whole scene again. Caldor Isle. Worse than yesterday, Alex. There's no way we can stumble through this stuff. We can't keep giving up and going home, Alex. We have to figure something out. Don't get upset and all. There's something I'd like to try. What do you mean, Luna? What can you do? Please. She has magic songs. Like for reals.
voice, Luna. It's magic. Don't look so <laughs> don't look so downtrodden, Luna. I don't even understand how I could. I just felt it in my heart, and then my voice took over. But how, I... Luna? Come on, guys. Now that the fog's gone, we can get this to safe in no time. Evil bushes. Oh, no, I didn't mean to AI. See, I'm used to, uh, in Grandia, when you auto, they don't, like, use the most powerful freaking MP sucking techniques. Oh, man, I want to play Grandia. Maybe I'll play some Grandia after I do a long view of this. Have like a game arts. Game arts reviews. Pretty cool. Maybe not though. Woo! Mummies. <laughs> Die, evil bush. Da, da. Ooh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dang. Oh, that's why, because I'm stupid. I'm still not used to the battle system. Don't judge me, okay, guys? God. <laughs> I just wasted a ton of Alex's MP, whatever. Not a big D. Oop, hello treasure. Oop, evil mushroom. Let's look at the background. The background's pretty cool too. Look at that. It's like good sprite. Good sprite work. Not as uh, good as, say, like Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy VI, but I mean, can you really compare the two? What are you? What are you? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, he's going to be poisoned. Stop it. Stop slapping me. You're dead. You're dead too. You done goofed. They're like little cute Marlboros. No, I think Marlboros are pretty cute for being like giant fucked up monsters. Pretty cute. Well, I like how every, like, area has really area-specific enemies. That's nice. They don't just have, like, a widespread of, uh, enemies, you know what I mean? It's not just like, uh, just, there's goblins and stuff. It's like the ice level had freaking yetis and ice crystal monsters and this place has like bush monsters and Marlboros. Pretty cool. Go ahead and do a graphical gameplay integration. Pause it on that. Cause back in ninety two, I mean I mean this this isn't the ninety two version, mind you, but I mean it's a re it's a port of the remake of the 92 version but in 92 they didn't they didn't do that as often as uh, I mean it's common sense now putting you know forest e type creatures in a forest section it was mostly just due to memory limit limitations you know what I mean they could only have X amount of monsters in the entire game and they couldn't be sp they couldn't be picky about it so I mean this that's probably how they uh, 
or why they took advantage of the um, sorry um, magic Remtis. They took advantage of the Sega CD's CD quality sound and also the memory expansion. They could add a lot more m uh, monster types and stuff. Pretty cool. Alex, you need some healing. Ugh. They're like landfish with like mouths for eyes. A Gorgon. Gorgonzilla. What if if it's giant it's like Gorgonzilla. It's like Godzilla. With Gorgons. I wanted to heal. I gained a level. Ramos came to level two. Great job, guys. Okay. Sometimes it'll just like stop on that. Weird. Ah, bush monster. should have uh, uh, got new equipment before I left. Like, I really should have. <laughs> I totally didn't. Come on, it's RPG 101 in Salmo. You, you really should know better. <laughs> oh, well. I think I'm kind of like... I think I'm good leveled right now. I did level up quite a bit in that crystal cave in the very first dungeon. So, I should be okay. Cascade Song. What's that do? Fortify friend. I guess that like uh, adds defense. Cover condition. She got all the magic. <coughs> Excuse me. I will defeat you, evil mushroom man. Ooh, a goblin. <laughs> I was just talking about you, goblin. We're all going to attack you. Ooh, double hit! What? So sometimes they do double hits? That seems familiar. I think they did that in Grandia, too. Where, like, a critical... A critical is basically two hits. Because, I mean, usually in video games, a critical is double damage anyway. So it's like, every once in a while, you'll critical and you'll do an extra hit. I think. That's how it was in Grandia, but this ain't Grandia. I, I think I'm going to be keep comparing this game to Grandia, because it's made by the same people and it's so uh, similar in terms of some of the design. I'm going to go ahead and heal you if I can right now. Oh, you're dead. So I don't know if I, I think I did put a put a positive in gameplay for having uh, enemies on the field. I think I did. I should probably watch my first episode and figure that out. Because if I didn't, then I totally should put a plus in gameplay for that. It's dude. Dun, 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 dun. So so far the story is pretty simple, but not not necessarily in a bad way. It's uh, hu humble beginnings, you know. Uh, like most like most Dragon Quest games, they start they start so tiny and just kind of like slice of life kind of thing, um, and then it escalates from there. 
Because if this is going to be anything like uh, Grandia, um, actually it shares a lot with Grandia's story in terms of like a kid who wants to become an adventurer just like his mentor. Um, and then goes out on a seemingly small adventure and then uh, gets a little wrapped up in ancient mystery and political intrigue. I bet you that's what this game's going to pan out. Not that that's a bad thing, but I see the direction of where it's going. Um, and if it's anything like Grandia, that is not a bad thing. And I really like the, uh, the relationship of Alex and Luna. Um, you can tell that there's something there. They're pretty subtle with it so far. But you can tell there's definitely a... Uh, something more than a friendship or something more than a brother sister and they're not really brother and sister she's adopted like not like adopted when she was a baby but I don't think either way they're not blood related so I think it's okay right in this world it's culturally acceptable deal with it look at that goblin has a stick see so yeah, I like the story I like the simplicity of it really um, it's not... I, I can't wait to see where it goes. And if it's anything like Grandia, I think I'm really going to like it. It's going to be a really character-centric game. Not big on plot moving the characters, but big on uh, kind of this cast uh, pu pu pushing the plot along. Oh, excuse me. Which is nice. I got to get all this. I gotta get all this stuff. I gotta get all the chests. Boom. Giving them herbs. Oh, oh man. Da, da, da. I think I'm good on health for now. Yeah. Oh, see? He did a double attack. That was raid. Okay, then you heal Alex and you attack Ramses. see if this game how ga how grindy this game is because that first dungeon it wasn't too grindy for me but I could see how that first dungeon could, could kind of turn off people who are um, new to the JRPG genre because that was a pretty uh, it was a pretty tough first dungeon first dungeons are usually a literal walk in the park they teach you the mechanics, that's about it, but I actually had to, like, you know, grind there a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't too much. It was just, it, it, not enough to, for it to accrue a negative, or a net negative. Um, it kind of balances uh, out, you know. I'm not going to go back for that guy. What's this? What? It's locked. I wonder what's inside. Oh, man. Yeah, I've been, I play a lot of RPGs. I can see that. I can see that sprite hanging behind that sprite. Oh shit! Mummy man! Mummy man! Whoa, look at all. Stay back. Get away from us. They're mummy men. Oh shit! Whatever, dude. I'm too young and promising to die. Who are you? Freaking Red Beret over here. Looks like we have a bit of trouble here. What the heck is going on? Hmm. Up. 
please help us. Ho ho ho! Let's have a crack at these thugs then. Supper's a coming and I need to work up an appetite. Who is this guy? Lake. Lake? Like hey? I don't know. It's pretty rad though. Let's. Whoa, Lake is 500? Holy. Um, let's hypnotize. And then you attack that guy. And then I can't. Boom. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is one of those battles that's like, hey, let's show off how freaking powerful this guy is. That attack how he gives me. You need some healing, boy. Need some healing, boy. Yeah. I did it. I love that Nal like freaking not only raises people at the end of battle, but Nal heals status effects. That's another good gameplay, uh, uh, gameplay, what's the term? What would it be? It'd be like gameplay graphical interaction of like, instead of just having like the game seemingly magically like, oh, after battle, you just, your guys are just raised again. Or like after battle, your guys are just like, they don't have status effects anymore for reasons. Um, this game at least, it did... It kind of integrates the same things with the menu. Sorry, I kind of <sighs> recovering from a head cold. Uh, yeah, the the game kind of integrates that, like with the, with Null's menu. That's an, that's another example of that graphical gameplay and uh, integration. Very nice. We did it. Who are you, Mister? I should ask. What are you? <laughs> you are. You're lucky I happened to come along when I did. Didn't you know that these woods were ridiculously dangerous for ordinary travelers? Are you lost? Or out for a picnic? What? An adventure? What? An adventure? <laughs> I gotta say, the voice work on the animated cutscenes are pretty good. I must... I must say, that's some pretty good uh, voice work. Like, good uh, voice... Um, like, li like voice sync to the lips. Shit, in 1990, when did this come out? 1996? The port of the remake? It was like, yeah, it was like 96. I don't know. I'll need to look at it again. But, man, PS2... PS2 generally had some terrible lip syncing, voice syncing stuff. And this is pretty good so far. Tell you what, I'll whip up a nice fire and some grub, and you can tell me all about it. This guy seems nice. Don't worry, kids. Smoke from the herbs I'm burning will keep the monsters away. You're smarter than you look, mister. I'm impressed. Ho ha ho! Thank you, I think. But I am not smart. When you travel as much as I do, you just learn things along the way. Come on, kids, it's chilly. Let's get closer to the fire. Creepy. I just realized I haven't even asked her names yet. You can call me Like. I'm Alex. This is my friend Ramos. Hello? 
I'm Nal. And I'm Luna. We're traveling from the village of Berg. Thank you for helping us defeat those monsters. Like, you're quite kind. Hmm. Luna. Something wrong, like? Oh, nothing. That's just a name I've not heard in a long time. Really? Really? Okay, for, for, for quoting Star Wars... It gets another story for quoting Star Wars. <laughs> Birthplaces, yep. Our hero. Well, he's my hero. Going to be just like him. So you're going to be a dragon master, huh? I, uh, I, I'd like to. No dream is out of reach, Alex. No matter how impossible it might seem. And in order to accomplish your dreams, you need plenty of food and rest. So you're saying I can accomplish anything? Ha ho ho! Indeed you can, Nal. Alright, Alex, let's finish our food and get some sleep. Hmm. He has the green eyes. I wonder if... I bet he has like a secret destiny or something. Oh, duh, he's the main character of a Japanese RPG. He has a secret destiny. That's like, duh. <laughs> Port of Saith, where we set sail for Moribia take our first step onto the shining path of glory. Deep breaths, Remus. <laughs> this game is funny. Null is funny. Deep breaths, big boy. <laughs> oh, hello. What's up here? See, the thing is, Like was really cool and he was really, really powerful, which is cool that they showed that he was powerful, but if we ever get him as a playable character, they better give us a lore reason of why he's not that powerful when we get him, or he is that same level when we get him. Or rather, we're as strong when we get him. Like, you know? Like, if he just joins your party and he's as weak as you suddenly... That's going to be a negative, but we'll get to that when we get to that, right? Right, mate. Let's uh, yeah, go ahead and just onslaught. Yeah. Go Alex. Go Alex. Jump on it. Jump on it. Giant fly traps. Right, Luna. Tranquil song. Man, I've learned. I think I learned a uh, offensive spell. I should check that. Because if I did, that's awesome. I didn't. Well, where did? Oh, he did. Pressure attack. Huh. I'll have to try that out eventually. Well, the main character is not as annoying as the main character in Grandia, so that's that's almost a plus right there. I like that Alex isn't like, you know, he doesn't have like an abrasive personality or a snotty personality or an overexcited personality. He's pretty level-headed, level-headed character. I 
I'll get that. Did I just like totally miss that thing? All right. Excuse me, monster. Yeah, I did totally miss that. <laughs> hey, you never know when you need some herbs, man. Hey, let's go ahead and fight that monster. In a game that gives you the ability to skip monsters, it's usually a good idea to kill at least all the monsters in an area. Because that's going to be really, like, most of the time it's going to be the amount of XP you need to fight the boss successfully. But it's nice that they give you the choice. It's nice to... Uh, you know, if you want to make a challenge about the game. You know, if you want to make the game harder, run from battles. It'll make boss battles harder. So that's a nice little... But I think, I'm pretty sure I've already given this game a plus <laughs> for having enemies dodgeable. But like, seriously, I'm just going to put another one because that's just... That's just too... I mean, if... Corner Trigger taught us anything is more games should do that. And not enough RPGs do, honestly. Like, why not? Why not give the choice? I don't understand. What, 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 what's the positive of just walking and then just suddenly you're fighting a guy? Just magically. Like, well, what, what's the positive of that? I don't... It's up here. Ooh, nothing really. Man, I love how detailed the world map is. Look at that, even got like the detail of the water splashing off the the bridge and the rocks. Jeez. On the world map. <laughs> On a freaking world a world map has that kind of detail. That's nuts. Oop, I think that's my stop. There it is. Welcome to the port city of Saith. Did you journey from Berg? Oh, I see. The fog has lifted from the woods. I'm so relieved to hear that. Welcome to rest here as long as you like. Full town reeks of fish. I'm in heaven. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, cool. <laughs> what sad little creatures. Even though they have wings, they can't fly. Well, That's almost as weird as a talking cat. Yeah, that. Hey! <laughs> You're hilarious, Ramos. Chicken filters? <laughs> okay, okay. You're all dressed up for an adventure, big guy. Will you take me with you? Alex totally has a thing for Luna. He'd never say that. What was he? <laughs> That's funny. I don't want to be mistaken for a chicken filcher. Hello, little doggy. I hate dogs. All they do ever do is bark at me. Oh, you are pushing it. See, the amount of, like, dialogue, dude. The amount of dialogue in this game is crazy. You're just jealous of me because I can fly. Listen up, pal. Flying is not easy. For example, I have to take thermal updrafts and air pressure into account. Uh, no, we have to go. Noll's just like talking shit to dogs. <laughs> My son keeps asking me to move across the sea to Moribia. What do you think of it? I think it's a great idea. There's nothing for kids to do over, to do out here in the boonies. I'm sure there's some nice things about Moribia, but I like safe. I was burned here. I was I was burn here. And 
I don't want to leave. Cool. Let me just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode right now, guys. I hope you liked today's long view this game just gets better and better it's I knew this game was gonna be kind of a slow burner when I started it but it's starting I, I like it a lot um, cool everything's all set thanks for watching guys have a great day